Hi, PerspectiveWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday, November 15th. Our first winter storm of the season here in the Mid-Atlantic region is well underway now. Snow has already accumulated in the D.C. metro region, about to move into southeastern Pennsylvania. Can be a heavy burst of snow or sleet in Philadelphia over the next few hours. Already has occurred in D.C. There can be more heavy bursts of snow and or sleet in the D.C. metro region over the few hours. A very dynamic atmosphere. We'll talk a lot about that over the next few minutes here. And that can lead to these bursts of heavy snow or sleet. First, let's start off looking at the surface pressure pattern here. The isobar pattern here represented on this particular map with these black lines. And notice this type of pattern here where there's kind of a, a kinkiness here to the isobar pattern. That is a classic cold air damming situation here where you have high pressure stationed to the north, locked in cold air mass. This high pressure winds blow clockwise around highs and that pushes cold air, in this case very cold, very dry air, down along the eastern side of the Appalachian Mountains and it has trouble, to, trouble giving up its ground. It is reluctant to give up its ground and you have all this moisture flowing to the, uh, from the south to the north and that spells trouble and in this case accumulating snow and sleet. Even in the big cities of DC, Philadelphia, New York City, accumulations of snow and sleet over the next several hours, even more so to the north and west in the suburbs of the big cities. The biggest snowfall totals will end up being across central Pennsylvania, uh, central uh, uh, Maryland and Virginia, uh, north central parts of those states, eastern West Virginia, right in this region right here, anywhere from 6 to 12 inches possible from this initial storm of the season. Well, here, excuse me, a little bit of a broader look at the radar. Again, radar echoes now showing up across southern Pennsylvania, again, are right around 9 a.m. as we speak. There is very dry air in place. Dew point uh, last hour was 19 degrees in Upper Chester County, 16 degrees in Doylestown, for example. It'll take a little bit for that to moisten up, but snow should break out over the next hour or so in the uh, Philadelphia metro region. And again, the yellows here represent heavier bursts of precipitation. It can start off as a mixed bag, and then it, as it intensifies, causes some dynamic cooling in the atmosphere, and it changes to all snow for uh, a, a while, and then as it lightens up, it could go back to mis mixed precipitation. Some accumulations are already being reported in the D.C. metro region, all on the way to the north and east. Well, one thing I want to talk about over the next couple of minutes is uh, frontogenesis in the middle part of the atmosphere. In this particular case, this particular uh, small-scale analysis shows what we call frontogenesis, in this case at 700 millibars, in a couple areas of interest here. One across southern Virginia at this time. This is the Pennsylvania-Maryland border right in this region here. We'll see in, the mo in a moment here the models actually intensify this area, basically a frontal system, a temperature gradient in the middle levels of the atmosphere. That consolidates into quite an impressive area, moves from south to north, and when that reaches a particular area, the precipitation could come down hard for a while, and as I said earlier, Mixed precipitation could change back to all snow, for example, and come down hard for a while. This frontogenesis in the middle level of the atmosphere is playing a key role in those bursts of heavier snow and sleet and will continue to do so right into the late afternoon here in the I-95 corridor. In fact, let's take a look at the NAM model here. That predicts the frontogenesis at 700 millibars. Here we are early this morning, 7 a.m. this morning, and here's that area of uh, mid-level front frontogenesis here. and Watch what happens as we move forward here. It consolidates, represented here in purple. And look at this, by uh, later on this afternoon from northern Maryland all the way into southern Pennsylvania, a very impressive frontal system in the middle part of the atmosphere. And again, that can produce some heavy uh, precipitation, perhaps a heavy quick uh, snowfall of a couple inches in some areas. It continues to move to the north and east, and here we are uh, during the evening hours all the way up into northern Pennsylvania and New York City metro region, and we'll continue to watch that particular area over the next several hours. Well, let's now walk through a high-resolution model called the HRRR, H -R -R -R, and this is uh, going ahead in hourly increments starting with right around now, and again, 
Lots of snow in uh, the D.C. metro region now working its way into southern Pennsylvania. Notice also here we have this nice high pressure system sitting right over New England, a key ingredient for snow in the I-95 corridor. Let's walk through here and we see snow continuing breaking out across southern Pennsylvania and then some purple showing up. That's your sleet and freezing rain here and again snow continues for several hours in southern Pennsylvania uh, e even in southeastern Pennsylvania certainly can uh, get uh, a few inches of snow especially in the suburbs of uh, Philadelphia for example and then by the middle of the day primarily a mixed bag in the DC metro region maybe even plain rain in the district and points south and east but certainly snow and a, a perhaps sleet mix continuing across Pennsylvania Good snowstorm setting up here for the interior section of Pennsylvania. Again, 6 to 12 inches in some parts of central Pennsylvania. Let's keep moving forward here. Snow uh, by uh, early afternoon, mid-afternoon reaches the New York City metro region. Perhaps all rain at this particular time later this afternoon in the D.C. metro region. Still, snow or sleet mixed. Uh, in the suburbs of Philadelphia into the late afternoon hours, temperatures will really be reluctant to climb above the freezing mark in the suburbs of uh, Philadelphia, for example. Let's keep moving ahead. And low pressure intensifies off the mid Atlantic coastline. Here we are, 7 p.m. tonight. At this point, I want to point out now the upper level low will be an area of interest. Notice this area out here kind of a hanging back, the comma shaped pattern to the precipitation pattern here. And then here we go. We have surface low pressure, maybe even a dry slot for a while. The precipitation may shut off early tonight. But then we have to watch this area out here. That is associated with the upper level low. And here by late tonight, notice, could be another burst of snow or sleet, perhaps even a briefly heavy at times. Late tonight, early tomorrow morning, especially north of the Mason-Dixon line, in the Philadelphia metro region, New York City metro region during tomorrow morning. That's associated with that upper level low kind of catching up to the surface low pressure area. Well, let's wrap up by looking at this snow accumulation map. This is from the HER, the HRRR, and it's a, a conservative method used here. That's why I like to show this uh, 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 snow depth change over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours or so. Again, highest amounts up across central Pennsylvania, interior sections here, lowest amounts along the coastal region, little if any frozen precipitation along coastal New Jersey, for example. But certainly the big cities of D.C., Philadelphia, New York City get in on the action with some accumulations, perhaps three, four inches in the immediate suburbs to the north and west of the big city. So again, a, uh, the first winter storm for much of the mid-Atlantic region and northeast U.S. Stay tuned to PerspectiveWeather.com for updates later today. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.